Howdy ladies and gentlemen, I'm Lynn Wolf, back with another Spyro video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we are going to be looking at a question that has bothered all of us for a few months now. What is that door in Artisan's Homeworld in Reignited Trilogy and where does it go? Since we got those initial screenshots and the reveal trailer for the Reignited Trilogy, people have been asking this question. Where does it go? Is it a way to travel between the worlds? Is it a fast travel system? Is there a gallery? Is there extra content? Well, all of these are really good guesses and really plausible. But I have my own theory. Now let's rewind and look at some footage for a second. Does this scene look familiar to anybody? Anyone look familiar at all? This is the opening cutscene of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage or Gateway to Glimmer. Now let's look at this scene. Does anyone recognize this one? That's right. It is the opening cutscene from Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. Now, is there anything that stands out to you about this footage? Because there's a really big thing that stands out to me. And that's the fact that there is a giant castle in the background. And it has a door in it. Where does that door go? Gee, I, I wonder. I would really like to know. And maybe Toys for Bob has answered this question for us. What if this castle is the same as the one from Artisan's Homeworld in the first Spyro the Dragon? And I know what you may be thinking. They don't look the same. They look different. They're different colors, maybe a little different styles. There originally was no door in the first one. But hear me out. The first game is vastly different from the other two. There are any number of differences between Spyro the Dragon and Spyro 2 and 3. The atmosphere was different, the story was less complex, it was less developed, it has its own distinct feel compared to the other two games. It is the one that stands out as totally different anyway, and that is because it was the first game in the series. And if it hadn't done so well, they probably wouldn't have made a second and third game at all. But since it was successful, Insomniac likely had to revisit the drawing board for a few things in order to make successful sequels. Now, this footage looks like it is part of Artisan's homeworld. I can't think of anywhere in the original Spyro game that this aesthetic would fit. Maybe it is slightly modified from Artisan's in the first game, but it still looks like that's where it belongs. So maybe that door is a way to travel between each of the three games. What if that door in Artisan's leads back to this area where there are extra portals? Portals that may be active from the very beginning, or after you complete the first game, or after you start one of the other games. Point is, I'm wondering if there will be actual physical portals back in this area for Avalar and the other end of the Dragon Realms. Now you may be having another question. Why would they put that in there if there is already going to be a fast travel system? Jordan Fringe pointed out in the footage of Colossus that there is a balloonist in the background, which maybe the balloonist is part of the fast travel system, which I thought was a really neat idea, and I hope that's true. But again, if we can fast travel, why would we need these extra portals? But don't forget, there is already a sort of fast travel system in place, in a sense, in the original games already. You can either return home through the portals or you can just simply go to the pause menu and hit exit level and it will take you back to the home world. But the actual physical portals are still there so you have a choice which one you want to go to. So is there going to be a door in Artisans 
that leads to the actual physical portal for the other two worlds, I think it's entirely possible and I think that would be really, really neat to fully link all three games physically, not just with a guidebook, not just with a fast travel system, not just with an easy way to switch between the three, but an actual physical in-game link would be fantastic and I think it would make a lot of sense. But those are just my thoughts. What do you think? Do you agree with me that that door in the Artisan's homeworld will lead to that extra area that you see in the opening cutscenes for Spyro 2 and 3? And do you think that it will contain actual portals to the other two games? Let me know in the comments down below and if you like this video just drop a like and subscribe if you are interested in seeing more Spyro content from me. As always, I'm Lynn Wolf signing off.